we playing? We're not playing anything. We're reacting to some YouTube videos on my favorite show. One that's been in cycle here. The fuck. Who is it? Is it Tony? I think it was Tony. Yo, Tony! <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Come on, man. Bro, dude. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Bro, at a time like this? We're trying to film, we're trying to do the wrong side of YouTube. Where we go and react to a bunch of popular and not popular videos on the internet. Cool. I've seen you guys do this before. What are you trying to say? I don't know, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just fucking around. I'm, sp I'm surprised he hasn't left yet. Yeah, me too, to be honest. Anyway, dude, what's good with you? I'm just fucking chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? Just out here, just chilling, just vibing. Do you see that Drake got booed off stage, dude? What, at the uh, Tyler the Creator Festival? Yeah. Really? Yeah, Drake got fucking booed, dude. Hey, paranoid. Always roll up in my motherfucking boys. But you gotta understand when it's yours, they don't really need your ass with a motherfucking choice, man. Love, no, make some noise for yourself tonight. You know, I'ma tell you. Like I said, I'm here for you tonight. If you wanna keep going, I will keep going tonight. What's up? If you wanna keep going, I will keep going tonight. Oh, no. But look, it's been love. I love y'all. I go by the name of Drake. Thank you for having me. It's pretty awkward, dude. Yeah. It's pretty fucking cringe, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck was that? Was that like RuneScape text? <laughs> Never mind. What the fuck? Did that shit fucking go hard or what? Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. I, I like spaced out. Oh, what the fuck? I was in that. Oh, yeah. Um. What? No, dude. I don't know if we can actually show this. Is this what you were looking for? Children smoking? I'm not, I'm looking for something specific. So like, somebody had eight year old weed? No, not eight, not. The weed wasn't eight years old, it was an eight year old smoking weed. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, hold on. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna look at eight year old weed. <laughs> <laughs> <What the fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How old do you have to be to start? Smoking weed and stuff like that. Are <laughs> <laughs> you have to be 18 years of age? Is it more dangerous to drive drunk or drive high? If you're impaired and, and it's affecting your your driving, it would be the exact same. Can you overdose on marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, she started fucking. Yeah, you know, she started. Can you overdose on cheesing. marijuana? Cheesing. In order to overdose, you would have to smoke or in, take in a, a, a crazy amount of marijuana. And yeah, this guy's stoned. It's impossible to overdose on marijuana. Like I'm, I think I'm stoned. If you're babysitting and there's weed on the counter and that kid eats it, do you think it's an emergency? You can't get high from eating weed. You can't get high from just eating bud. You're just eating just raw weed? Yeah, it's like... You get Scooby snacks. And what you if you like, get like? What if you? What if you get frozen weed and you thaw it out? <laughs> what? In what way would that make you high? Dude, you know how cooler drinks like you know raise your metabolism. Though? No. For sure. <laughs> so if you actually see that, then I would call nine one one. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I can just picture some kid just like in a cookie jar, just like reaching out a nug of weed. <laughs> yeah, I was babysitting little Timmy and he ate my, I mean, he ate some weed on the counter. <laughs> Not my weed. 
Yo, you gotta get the fuck down here right Yo, now. I just don't want some fucking little Einsteins or something. Just chill with him, bro. Like, he's gonna be fine, man. Dude, yeah, he's- He'll, he's be, just... in, he'll be in bed early. He just said you can't- you, It's nearly impossible to overdose on weed. And then he's like, you have to call 911. Like, you, you, you have to burn the weed. You can't get high from just eating weed. It's impossible. I've tried. What if he sits in like a hot tub? Can I give you a disease or something? <laughs> Can I get an STD from weed? I mean, that's some. Uh, has anyone tested that? On the weed itself? You smoke have herpes? Smoked, have smoked, has anyone smoked herpes before? <laughs> Did you know? that roughly one out of every six people between the ages of 14 to 49 years has genital herpes? Knowing the facts about herpes can help you make informed decisions about your health. Genital herpes is a sexually transmitted disease, or STD. You can smoke herpes. Show me your penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, time for an ad read from this week's sponsor. It's Raycon, guys. Keeping cow chop on the air and safe from financial insolvency. But what are Raycons, you ask? I'll tell you, only the best damn wireless earbuds I've ever tried in my life. Here's what you need to know about Raycon. The company was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Cardi B, Brandy, or obsessed with Raycons, and so are we. Raycon offers their wireless earphones in a range of fun colors and patterns. I've got the basic black, but you can get them in all sorts of things, and they're super comfortable and come with a variety of fit options. The compact carrying case can charge earbuds four times on a single charge, and unlike some of our other wireless options out there, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems. I use my Raycons when I'm in the gym. Great news, they don't fall out of my ears when I'm doing any kind of lifting, any kind of crazy stuff. They've got great audio quality. And most importantly of all, Raycon is sponsoring Cow Chop here in the end game. They're sending us their support. So why not throw a little bit back to them and help keep Cow Chop on the air till the very, very end here. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. They sound just as amazing as the other top audio brands you know. Their latest model, the E25, is their best one yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. They've even got some new fun colors for that too. Click the link in our description below to get 15% off of your order. That's buyraycon.com slash cowchop for 15% off your order, brought to you by Raycon. Listen, 2019's winding down. There's no reason for you to not have a nice pair of wireless Bluetooth earbuds. You put them in, you're on the bus, people trying to talk to you, just zone out, enjoy yourself. You know, you're studying, you're in the library, got your own thing going on. You go to the gym, the weights are all over the place. You put on your favorite song, suddenly you're feeling good. And you can save 15% off and help Cow Chop and have a great pair of wireless earbuds with Raycon. Use the link below, save 15% off. Raycon, we love you, we thank you. Now back to the show. Do you, do you think monkeys smoke crack? Yes. How, who gave him a cigarette? Oh, I just want a cigarette, man. This is me leaving my apartment, stoned. <laughs> just fucking chilling. I can smell this video. <laughs> Orangutans learn from example, so their caregiver shows them how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Moomut, a little male, catches on immediately, while Valentino has a more interpretive approach. <laughs> With his distinctive pale belly stripe, <laughs> Valentino was found alone in a forest as a baby after his mum was killed. Damn, dude, why did you have to hit us with that? I was, I was enjoying some fucking coconuts being cracked by some orangutans. Now. That's fucked up. Can we see gorillas fighting? I want to see gorillas throw that's, hands. That's what you want to go with? I want to go, I want to see gorillas throw fucking hands, dude. Oh, oh my god! Oh. 
<laughs> Where's the zookeepers? What the fuck are they gonna do? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, hey. <laughs> Breaking up. <laughs> Breaking up, you 800 pound mammal. <laughs> Why is putting a mirror in the jungle like the greatest content that researchers have thought of in, in the past like century? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> that sneak jab. <laughs> How do you spell coyote? C Y O. So people would hire. Uh, guys with thermal scopes and rifles to go out and sit and defend their uh, property. This looks like a Call of Duty mission. It's the cow. <laughs> <laughs> the cow just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn. In Texas, too, they have, uh... They really all fucking spectrums here. You could, uh, pay to fly in a helicopter and shoot boars. What? Now this is a fucking Call of Duty mission. <laughs> that guy's <laughs> Instagram Live is <laughs> really excessive. <laughs> Extremely, extremely excessive for some boar boys, dude. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, if they, they, they go for the back so that their back legs don't work, and then they run them over. Oh, that one's huge. That one. Yeah, that one. Oh, he, 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 what? How did he take that? He took it again, dude. <laughs> he just kept running, dude. <laughs> that guy was it's fucking. Kind of, it's kind of fucked, but that's a big boy, dude. Yeah. He fucking took it like a beast. <laughs> 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 These things are fucked up, dude. They're fucked up. When they shoot them, they have to take the dead bodies out because their friends will come back and eat them. Oh, oh. Oh my God. Okay. We can't, we can't watch that. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of uh, Hotline My. Oh, sorry. Let me redo that. What? What were you gonna say? I don't know. Hotline Blink? Something Hotline. If you liked some of the stuff that you saw in this video, make sure to check out some of the stuff that we got on this channel. There's a big playlist for videos just like this one. We got a sick merch store. Buy t shirts just like this one, except this one's no longer available. Maybe some other stuff you can cop before. Uh, close down the shop. Anyways, uh, thank you to our Patreons and thank you to our sponsors and we'll see you on the next one.